Hi, what you're about to see is the true to life Ninja 2 vs MMA. If you just wait till the end, I'll explain all. So, enjoy. Well, ninjas use hand grenades, okay? So in an octagon, the first thing that happened is somebody throw a hand grenade in and there'd be blood and guts everywhere. End of story. That, that, that's probably the first trick. Second would be if you were to really fight a real ninja, and I'm talking about a real ninja back in feudal Japan. Um, you'd probably have your house burnt down, your children murdered, your wife raped, and uh, probably strung up and executed. And you would be burnt to death uh, by a group of about ten men, just for starting trouble, basically. Uh, this historical manual do show vengeance attacks, and it shows that you should use ninjutsu for vengeance attacks. And that includes like waiting in people's bathrooms to kill them, um, burning their houses down, murdering everyone, the lot. So I'd be careful about you if you're going to really fight a real ninja. Next round, right, the morning of the fight. Well, you'd find the night before the fight that um, a woman, a sexy woman, would have come up to the MMA fighter, sleep with him, and in the morning probably feed him poison. Or, during the night, open all the windows and doors and a group of ten lads would come in and pretty much cut your head off. So, uh, that's what real ninjas do. The idea of a one-on-one -on -one fight in an octagon cage is uh, absolutely ridiculous in the concept of ninjutsu. It is not even, I mean, it's laughable. Um, first of all, you turn up with uh, military manuals, talk, firstly, that uh, you pretty much have a group of about ten guys, if possible. And one of them is a shinobi captain, and the other ones might be shinobi ashigaru, their foot soldiers, or shinobi samurai, depends. And uh, generally they've got big knives, hand grenades, explosives, big swords, and uh, they'll just come and murder you. So um, that's pretty much what would happen. Next is uh, this, that obviously uh, ninjas are quite famous for their traps, and they do have traps, spike traps, bamboo traps, um, actually even self-releasing bows when you're asleep, um, buckets with pebbles in to wake them up, bells, signals, whistles, deadly things, everything, even landmines. So yes, in the 15th century, 16th century Japan, you had landmines. So uh, watch where you stand on your way to the octagon ring, guys. Next round, poisonous gases and flame weapons. Shinobi or Ninja used to use um, bamboo tubes filled with poisonous gases or flaming, sparking things. So they'd attack, when they had to fight, they would use these, flames would be going everywhere, and poisonous gas, or they'd throw poisonous gas hand grenades into the octagon ring. Um, so these wouldn't explode, they'd just emanate lots of, usually arsenic and white lead, things like that. You'd just vomit blood. Also, uh, be careful at night, if it's wind in your face, you feel something on your face, it's usually poison, and it's usually poison dust, so uh, that's what you've got to be careful. Of course, snakes in your bed. This next one is superb. Is, uh, most people don't realise that most of the time the ninja is actually in your team and you don't know it. So all your guys, the guys who are supporting you, yeah, go get that ninja. Probably a ninja himself. And you're off to fight another ninja, but you don't realise the guy who's giving you the water at the end of the octagon ring is actually his mate. And uh, he's feeding you poison. Or he's feeding you, like, diarrhea stuff. And you're off to the toilet, you're going, you look like an idiot in the fight. So that's what really happened. Half you guys would be enemies. This one is just me being funny. Um, why on earth do people want to try and do MMA versus ninjutsu? Ninjutsu is a, ninjas are medieval spies, stroke commando gorillas, depending. There are two types of ninja. 
to be very simplistic, it's Inin and Yonin. They're like um, sneaky beaky people who kill you at night and burn your house down, or medieval spies who are very intelligent and not not saying they're not fighters, I'm just saying that their job was um, spying, you know, and collecting information and mathematics and um, uh, secret codes and, you know, spies, you know. So uh, I don't understand what this outfit gun versus the ninjutsu thing is. This one is my favourite, um, to be honest. Uh, if some, if a ninja or somebody who's harder than a ninja or these big hard lads came up, it would simply be the fact that the ninja would break into someone's house, steal some money, pay a bigger guy to go and kill him, or tell a bigger guy, like in the cartoon, that he'd slept with his wife or something like that, and it wouldn't cost an ninja anything because he'd stolen the money, or he'd set up a political conspiracy where you would be executed. Just simply, he's all lies, but he'd set it up with fake letters and fake this and fake information, and you would see him, um, or you you would fall into the trap as an MMA fighter and then be arrested by the government. That, that's how it would work realistically. So you know that's how it goes. Remember, ninjutsu is war. Just to be clear, ninjas are, as I said, two types: guerrilla commandos or espionage spy agents or a mixture of both. So remember guys, if you're going to go and have a fight with a ninja, you're not going to have a fight, you're going to war. There's a big difference. Okay, the explanation. Right, th this video is meant for MMA fighters. Um, it is not an anti-MMA video in the slightest, it is a pro-history video. My name is Anthony Cummins and I research historical ninjutsu. And um, I'm going to make this very short, but all the guys you ever see dressed in black with black belts on and ninja patches here or little Japanese stars and they claim to be doing a hand-to-hand -hand combat style called ninjutsu, it is not real. It was a marketing invention in the 1950s and it was brought across in the ninja boom. And um, ninjas did do hand-to-hand -hand combat, okay? They did. But ninjas were either samurai, that's the warriors, knights, or ashigaru, they were foot soldiers, in the warring periods of Japan. Or in the feudal era, even at peace when it was led by samurai and warring people. So, the idea of a hand-to-hand -hand ninja combat system is new. But traditionally, they would learn any type of combat systems, knifing people and, you know, hacking people's heads off. Samurai martial arts with big swords and big spears. And But the ninja was guerrilla tactician. So he was the guy who was a scout. He'd go in and scout things out. He'd, like, ambush traps. He'd seek out ambushes. He did explosives, poisons, weapons, psychology. But at the same time, he was also the guy who did disguises. And he went in and um, he would steal things and record maps and things. The idea that today the ninja martial arts is anything to do with actual real ninjas is, is rubbish. It's a waste of time. So guys, MMA guys, I want you to realise I am here and I want to save Japanese history from the way it's going. And in particular the history of the ninja. And when you MMA guys are like slagging off ninja and ninja this and ninja it's become cliche ninja. And people actually think ninjas are a laughing joke now and they call it ninja larpers. I want to tell you, I've translated with my translator and we've published, we actually published authors, actual ninja manuals from the 1600s. Ninjas are not a laughing matter, they're not something you joke about. They were real harsh people and it was all about really hard murdering and things like that. So MMA guys, please in your minds get rid of this idea of ninja guys, the fat guy rolling around in black with a foam sword laughing, yeah, versus historical reality of very hard, very dangerous men who went into the wilds and went into enemy territory and were opening people's stomachs, taking enemy heads, um, ripping things to pieces, burning children and women, in fact having women and children executed just to help their plan. It was a horrible life. So please remember, ninjas are really deadly. What is called modern ninjas for this hand hand combat made up in modern times from older systems. I hope you enjoyed that and please pass this video on information around if you are really interested, I'm talking to MMA guide now, 
if you're really interested in how harsh the life was, I've got a website. Please go to the website and click downloads. It's all free information. If you're interested in reading real ninja manuals, just click um, publications or look in the links below. I'll put some links in to make it easy for you there. So I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to possibly talking again on MMA and Ninjas in the future. Bye bye.